They want you to be over 18 to buy a non-alcoholic drink. I guess that makes sense somewhere in the world. Are you ready to party? Cool. G'day all, Tastaz here again. Welcome to my latest video. Thanks for stopping by. So eggnog review number two. I did the uh, Bundaberg rum flavoured eggnog last week from Paul's. And this week, as I said I would do, I've got the Bailey's inspired eggnog. So the main um, thing about this one is, with the rum one, the Bundaberg rum, it had 0.5% uh, Bundaberg rum, which isn't much, of course, because it is a uh, eggnog, and you can't have alcoholic eggnog from Woolies. Uh, <laughs> but um, this has no Baileys in it at all. It's an inspired uh, flavor, which means they're just using some flavorings to try and replicate that Bailey's taste. So four dollars twenty for this one as well, same price as the Bundaberg rum one. So we'll uh, give it a good old shake up. Our ingredients in this one are um, oh, <laughs> it's even got a. Uh, before I go into the ingredients, this is a non-alcoholic product. Well, we gave it that. This product is intended for purchase and enjoyment by people of legal purchase age for alcoholic beverages. So, <laughs> they want you to be over 18 to buy a non-alcoholic drink. I guess that makes sense somewhere in the world. I don't know. Um... Maybe they think you'll get addicted to Bailey's on the flavour or something. So I've got a glass. Let's crack it open. Aroma. Mmm. Definitely got that Bailey's aroma. So into our glass we go. So pretty similar to last time. I'll pop that down there. Mm, it's a very nice aroma. A little bit of a um, Bailey's aroma to it. Definitely not as strong as the rum aroma was on the Bundaberg rum one. So no more dilly dally into the uh, taste test. And then we'll go through the ingredients because I completely forgot to go through the ingredients. There's not much in it anyway. So uh, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Very subtle Bailey's flavor. Do I like this one more than the Bundaberg rum one? I do. The Bundaberg rum one had a very kind of strong rum flavour to it, which I thought was good, which is what you want when you're putting rum into it. But the um, the Bailey's flavour on this one for me is a little bit underwhelming. But overall, it is definitely more drinkable and nicer. Still got the, the creamy milk flavour. You've got that traditional kind of eggnog flavour. And that very subtle Bailey's flavour. So, yeah. It's quite nice. It's quite drinkable. It's non-alcoholic. But make sure you're over 18 if you're going to buy some of it, apparently. Hmm. So, flavour for that one. I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. If I went back in hindsight on the rum one, I would probably say for me, the rum was a little bit overpowering on the other one. So I probably would have dropped that from a seven and a half to a seven. So there you go. The Bailey's inspired Paul's eggnog, eight out of 10, not bad, not fantastic, but um, we'll uh, try the traditional eggnog next time and see what that one's like. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. 
Subscribe if you haven't already. I really would appreciate it. Thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons, especially Pete89, William, Tom Penny, and Angelo. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I shall see you on a future video. Bye. Oh, the ingredients. Oh, Daz. Milk, skim milk, sugar, milk solids, flavors, whole egg powder, color, and stabilizer. Excitement plus.